Hi everybody, we're coming to you today from a crappie fishing destination that a few years back was second only to famous Grenada Lake in Mississippi for giant three pound plus crappie. We're going to find out if the fishing is still as good now as it was then. Glad you were along with us. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That is a fish. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> It's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Woo! This is Let's Fish. Today's episode could be entitled Return to Poverty Point. Sounds like an old Western movie, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It is the return to a place that back during the crappie boom of 2016 and 2017 was a destination for crappie anglers from all over the country to come and catch giant three pound plus crappie. We're gonna revisit that place today. I'd like to welcome you in to Poverty Point Reservoir. It's located in the northeastern corner of Louisiana, just north of the town of Delhi. This place was an incredible fishery back during the 2016, 2017, 2018 years. But what's happened to it since? We're gonna find out in the next half hour and see if the crappie fishing is still as good as it was. And while we're doing that, we're taking you around your local region for this week's reports from your local region, both freshwater and saltwater, from our expert team of insider reporters. And we're gonna be fishing today out of my Blazer 650 Pro Tour fishing boat. This thing is a dream to fish out of and to drive. It's got a giant casting deck with lots of storage space underneath, it's a dual console, and it rides great. It's very stable in rough water or calm water, either one. It's fun to drive. It's rigged out with my Mercury Pro XS 254 stroke, my Lowrance HDS Live Fish Finders, and my Motor Guide Tour Pro trolling motor. This thing is a blast. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be out fishing on Poverty Point Reservoir right now. Let's get things started back at the studio and your weekend planner. Hello, the Salooner Tables are predicting good game fish activity both days this weekend. Peak times begin at 119 on Saturday and 215 Sunday afternoon. Best evening action will begin after midnight around 1252 on Saturday and 144 Sunday evening. Depending on your local area, expect the sun to rise around 619 and set around 836. And evenings will feature a moon that is only 6% visible. Stay with us, we've got fishing reports from across the area on the way. Plus, Bassmaster Elite Angler Stetson Blaylock stops by to answer your Ask the Pro question. Back in a bit. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Have fun out there. Power Pole. Total Boat Control. Visit Mississippi. Good times are close by. Low Boats. 50 years of boating craftsmanship. Balls Out. Made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. And we've got ourselves a big old Poverty Point crappie. How about that? I'm telling you, that was the second pitch. There he is. Big one. Big one. There we go. Come up to the top. Big boy. Right there by that tree, right where he was supposed to be. All right, let's get the net after this one. Since it's the first one. Come up here. Yeah. We are off to a start, ladies and gentlemen. That did not take long. My second pitch of the day, and we've got ourselves a big old Poverty Point crappie. How about that? I'm telling you, that was the second pitch. I pulled in there and pitched on one side of that tree. Nothing hit it. Pitched on the other side, and that big daddy hit it. All right, well, Welcome back everybody. We are at Poverty Point Reservoir, which is a very unusual and unique fishery located right up in the northeastern corner 
of the state of Louisiana. We're going to put that fish back. Real skinny looking fish right there. That fish would weigh over two pounds if it were spawning time and it were full of eggs. But it's not, so back he goes. But let me get you set up on Poverty Point. It's 2,700 surface acres. It's a very shallow, man-made reservoir. It was built in 2001 as a bass fishery. They intended to grow trophy bass here, and there have been some giant bass caught here, but the shad population exploded in here, and because of that, the crappie population went nuts. And I'll tell you the story a little later, but uh, around the year 2016, some really unusual and spectacular things happened here at Poverty Point, and we were here to document some of that a few years ago. We are off to a start. That gets you set up on Poverty Point. By the way, it's just north of the little town of Delhi, Louisiana, and we debated back and forth whether it was Delhi or Delhi, but the local guy on the newscast called it Delhi, so that's what we're gonna call it. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama Fishing Report. It is brought to you by Experience Paris, Tennessee. Um, it's a place I'll always call home for a reason, and that's because it is an incredible place to go spend a weekend, take a vacation, take your family, go fishing, go hunting. You make plans to visit Paris, Tennessee, Henry County, Tennessee. Let's talk fishing for a moment. Let's talk about what's hot where you are, and let's talk about what's hot right now. In Tennessee, the nighttime bite is really getting good, and I'm going to Center Hill for that. Center Hill is an incredible lake that has all three species of bass, and the bass action at night is just unparalleled. Uh, in Mississippi, Ross Barnett is king right now. The bass are around shallow cover. They're in summertime patterns. The thicker the cover, the better they're gonna be in it. So that's buzz bait, that's spinner bait, that's thunder cricket, that's flipping. A lot of fun, a lot of really good fish in Ross Barnett right now. And then in Alabama, it is Coosa River time. When it starts to get hot, those big Coosa River spots get in those current eddies and really eat. And the most fun thing on earth is to catch one of those spots on a spinner bait. Guys, get down here, have a good time. We'll see you when you get here. God bless you. There's one. That feels like a good one. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. Easy. Easy, easy. Jump, jump in my net if you're gonna jump. There we go. Okay. All right. Here's another Poverty Point crappie. There we go. Yeah, how about that one? That's beautiful. Well, I'm doing something I always do and that's when I'm fishing in this dirtier, kind of murkier colored water, I go with really bright fluorescent colors. So I've got this little, uh, I think that's a, uh, maybe a 3 16 ounce, or maybe a quarter ounce jig head. And that's a little Strike King crappie thunder, but it's in a real bright, hot pink color. The head is a fluorescent orange and the tail is chartreuse. And I really think that's critical when you're fishing in this murky water like this. The other thing I'm doing is I'm using real high visibility yellow line that I can really see well when I get a strike. I can see it actually before I feel it. Let me uh, tell you something interesting about Poverty Point. The lake gets its name from an area around here that's really unique and there's not very many of them anywhere in the country. Uh, Poverty Point was an area, a settlement of Native Americans and not the ones that we normally think of like back around Civil War days. These are from 1700 to 1100 BC. They lived right here in this area, what is now North Louisiana. And there's a big cultural settlement of them where they lived for all those years. And it's got a great big mound. It's a 72 foot high mound that they built in. And they've developed it into a historical site that you can go visit and see a lot of these artifacts from, I mean, literally some of the oldest stuff anywhere in the country. It's a world historic site. And there's only three of these types of sites in the entire United States. And one of them is right here at Poverty Point, Louisiana. There's the crappie and there's the tree, right there. It's still in here, you've gotta be patient.
There's one. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, easy, easy. Let's get the net. Let's get the net. Don't jump. Don't jump. Got him. Okay, welcome back, everybody. We are still at Poverty Point. Oh, man, look how bad that crappie wanted my crappie thunder. Holy cow, he's got it in the back of the throat right there. There's a good solid crappie for you right there. It may take me a couple of minutes to get this fish loose. And uh, while I do, I want to tell you the Poverty Point story. The story really begins back in 2001. Oh, that came out pretty easily. There's my crappie jig. That's a nice crappie right there. Yeah. So it begins in 2001 when they built this lake. And of course, they built it for a bass lake, to manage it as a bass lake. And the shad population was so good that the crappie just exploded here. And by 2016, this was one of the top crappie lakes in the country. As a matter of fact, in a one year period of time, the three, uh, three of the top 10 biggest crappie ever caught in the history of the state of Louisiana got caught right in this lake in a very short window. We came during that year, and I'll show you a couple of shots of some really nice crappie that we caught on our trip right at the peak of the population of crappie here at Poverty Point. Well, since then, the population has been in a little bit of a decline. It's not so much the trophy crappie lake that it used to be. They still do catch and weigh in several three pound plus crappie out of this lake. So there's still some great big ones in here and it's still a great place to come if you want a trophy crappie fish. It's just not a big numbers lake. That's because of three reasons. Number one, the fishing pressure. Just people came from all over the country and caught a bunch of these crappie out of here. Secondly, crappie are very cyclical. They, they go up and down in cycles and it takes three or four years in each cycle for the population to go to its peak and then it'll bottom out. So that's number two. Number three, I've seen more rough fish in this lake this trip i fished some yesterday and some today and there are carp gar and buffalo and drum everywhere in this lake i can see them on my lawrence active target i can see them flopping around on the surface and that has hurt the population some a little bit they just kind of mess up the cover where the crappie like to get but still a good crappie lake the well, red snapper redfish and spotted sea trout action is on fire along the southeast coast I'll be right back with more details, but first this from our good friends at Foreshore Transportation. Foreshore Transportation can ship freight across the country or across the state. Whatever the load, wherever the destination, Foreshore gets it done fast, safe, and hassle-free. Well, red snapper fishing is wide open along the Gulf Coast. Uh, Mississippi and Alabama anglers are really doing very, very well. Uh, this is a prime time for that fishing. Also in Mississippi and also Alabama, spotted sea trout fishing has been excellent. Uh, sea trout in Alabama usually are in the shallow water areas of Mobile Bay and also along the coastal areas there east and west of the bay mouth. Weight fishermen in Mississippi are doing very well for big spotted sea trout. Uh, waiting around Cat Island and Horn Island, two very popular places to fish. There's plenty of redfish mixed in with these sea trout. Uh, these redfish are going oh, 04 to 5 pounds up to 8 or 10 to 12 pounds. This is pretty easy to do fishing. You can do it in a drifting boat, but most of the guys wade fish. But for smaller anglers or, or people that may be handicapped, you can drift along with a, a small boat and catch fish too. Over in southeast Georgia, my friend Greg, Captain Greg Hildreth out of St. Simons Island is catching plenty of nice sea trout and also some redfish inshore in uh, the creeks around uh, the, uh, the Golden Isles area there. He says triple tail fishing has been good, but you've got to watch the, the wind and weather. Uh, east winds is just deadly over there. You need seas for that good fishing. Well, that's it for the southeast coast. Get out in the water and take a youngster with you when you go. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lou's Feel the Difference. Waypoint Customs. Customize your boat your way. Strike King. Tie one on. Place your glove. Stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades. Fishing Specialties. Makers of the premier mount assembly for live sonar. That crappie is a pound and 12 ounces. One pound, 12 ounces.
There we go. There's a big old crappie. Yeah, right where he was supposed to be by that single stump sticking up. Calm down, buddy. Calm down, fella. That's a big one. Stay on. Slide the net up under him. There we go. All right. There's another slab for you sitting out here. There's the crappie and there's the tree right there. And that is really cool. That's textbook because that crappie was on the only tree out here. I mean, I pulled into a little bay and there's one tree sticking up. Now there's probably some more down under the water, but it's such an obvious place. And you know, so many times those obvious things don't work out. That one actually did. And uh, just pitched it right up by that tree. And you don't have to have fancy sonar gear. You don't, I've got active target. You don't have to have that. When you're doing that, when these fish are on those trees like that, you just pull up to it real quietly, pitch it up there, peel off a little line and let it go right down by the trunk lift up on it don't jig it a lot just lift up on it and a great big one like that might hit it that's not one of those giant famous two and a half to three pounders that uh, have come out of this lake in the past but that's still a good solid crappie they're still in here but you've got to be patient Hey folks, it's time for your Carolina's Report. This week brought to you by Crazy System Marina, the leader in water sports along the Grand Strands. We are open for business. We're here to take care of all your needs on the water. Visit CrazySystemMarina.com for more information on how we can take care of you. Let's talk about salt water. We're going to continue on salt water this week. And I tell you what, the king micro bite on the nearshore reefs is firing off. Big live baits are a bonus. You know, we've got a new rule in, in the place, a blue, blue fish. Three fish per person. Well, I'll tell you what, it's one of the best baits you can get. Grab your three blue fish, get you some manhaden and head offshore. Get those big baits out there and watch how big a fish you're gonna catch. Get right on top of that structure where you think those fish are gonna be. Get your lines in, make a couple passes. You don't get any bites, move on to another structure. The best way to catch big, big king mackerel is to fish on those smaller structures and don't spend a lot of time there. If they're, if they're there, they're gonna bite when you get there. Trust me, the first bait in the water normally gets the best fish. This has been your Carolina's Report. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. That's a big one. There we go. Yeah, that's a poverty point crappie right there. That's a big daddy. Come in here, big boy. Yeah, we caught a big one. Look at here. This is what I came all the way to Del High, Louisiana to do right there. That's a big one. Skinny, so it's not going to weigh a whole lot. But that is about a 16 inch crappie right there. Just for grins, we'll stick him on the scale, but he's not gonna be real heavy. We're at Poverty Point Lake, located right up in the corner of Louisiana. That crappie is a pound and 12 ounces. One pound, 12 ounces, and he's still flopping around. Calm down, buddy. Calm down and we're gonna put you back. We're not keeping him today. That's a beautiful white crappie. You can tell them by the bars down their sides. Yes. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lowrance, America's number one fish finder, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Get our free fishing guide at orangebeach.com. Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor. The tour is back. Blazer, high performance boats for high performance anglers.
Welcome back everyone. Let's get right to your Ask the Pro question for this week. Sammy wants to know, when you are out there fishing a tournament, what would cause you to stop and change your hooks out on a lure? For an answer, we asked Bassmaster Elite Angler Stetson Blaylock. There's a lot of times I won't change hooks on a bait. If I'm catching fish and I'm not having any trouble landing those fish, I won't change hooks very often. However, there's certain baits that work better with certain styles of hooks, so I'll change those off very regularly, even in a tournament, if I feel like I've hung up a few times, uh, whether the hook might be damaged from being hung and, and bending it back, straightening it up, whatever those cases may be, I can tell you that it's very important to make sure your hook is perfect because that's the most important thing between you and that fish. Thank you, Stetson. If you want some help from one of the pros, simply go to letsfishtv.com and follow the Ask the Pro link to submit a question. Now it's time to find out who wins this week's a Big Catch of the Week. We are back at Black Bear Lodge at Poverty Point Reservoir in Northeast Louisiana, where we've been staying on this trip, catching these crappie. And it's time right now for this week's winner in the Big Catch of the Week contest. He's Derek Queen of Ella J, Georgia, with a seven pound largemouth bass he caught at Nottily Lake in Georgia. If you'd like to have a chance to have your big fish and you shown on our show, just go to our website at letsfishtv.com Go to the bottom of the homepage and click on the Big Catch of the Week area and follow the instructions. Here's today's Right Stuff, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And on the Academy Right Stuff, it's the right gear to catch these big crappie like we caught on this week's episode, beginning with the Lou's Wally Marshall Pro Target Rod Series. This is the 10-foot medium heavy action crappie rod, perfect for snatching those big ones off that timber. And we use the Strike King Wally Marshall Crappie Thunder in a bright orange jig head with a hot pink body and a chartreuse tail. This color is called hotchicken.com. And a couple of other pieces of gear that were critical. The Lowrance Active Target helped show us some of these crappie on these standing trees. And we had it mounted on the Fishing Specialties Bowducer mount system, the perfect system for hanging that pole over the side of your boat being able to point that transducer any direction you'd like to point. I read a quote that goes something like this, your friends love you anyway. We live in a world of conditional love. I'll love you if you'll do this or act that way or do something for me. True love is when you know someone's faults and failures and all their baggage and you choose to love them anyway. It's like the old George Thorogood song says, who do you love? Better yet, who do you choose to love in spite of all their junk and who loves you anyway? And I'd like to give you the contact information in case you'd like to stay at the beautiful Black Bear Lodge where we stayed on this trip. They've got very comfortable rooms, a gathering area, a great restaurant next door, and a beautiful championship golf course, the Black Bear Golf Course right out the back door. It's a great place right on the shores of Poverty Point Reservoir. You can contact them at the information you see on your screen. From Poverty Point Reservoir in Northeast Louisiana, until next week, let's fish everybody. I'm Barry Stokes saying be safe, have fun. Bye bye y'all.